Holly Randall Unfiltered is brought to you by Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve is like the biggest online sex toy retail store. And in fact, they don't just offer sex toys. They also have movies, they have lingerie. They basically have anything sexy that you could be looking for. Now they have an incredible offer. Get 50% off of any one item when you go to adamandeve.com. But that's not where it ends. So not only will you get 50% off any one item, they will also load up 10 free gifts for you on top of that. You will get six free movies, a free mystery pack that includes an item for him and a special toy for her and something we know you'll both enjoy, plus free shipping. Now that's a lot of free stuff, but you can only get this offer if you go to adamandeve.com and use my code HOLLY. That's adameve.com, use code HOLLY, for 50% off of any one item plus 10 free gifts. When did you, I guess, realize that you were asexual? And how did you come to that realization? Well, when I was a little bit younger, I was very active on like, you know, uh, LGBT social justice warrior kind of <laughs> kind of spaces online. And so I was really exposed really early to a lot of really specific language about how to describe your sexuality and the way that you feel and these really specific, uh, you know, genders and sexualities that some people might think are not valid or m- might not agree with. But I think they're really good for describing how people feel inside with within themselves. And so through that, I found the asexual community and it really was listening to other, reading other people's experiences, reading people's accounts of like when they realized they were asexual, when they realized something was different about them as their other friends are. And that's when it clicked for me was I realized that I was like, I feel like there's something a little bit different that I'm not quite getting. It wasn't up until a couple months ago that I really you know, I was in quarantine and I was home a lot and I was just scrolling on my phone and I kind of got back into those asexual spaces, you know, on Reddit and on Twitter. And I just had the same experience of reading people's stories and just thinking to myself that these made so much sense and that this was much more relatable than anything that I've ever seen in media or heard described to me or just the way that other people seem to be. Does that make Mm. sense? Yeah, it does. I'm just, so then, you know, when, when we're growing up and we're teenagers, we have like hormones coursing through our body and we start to discover our own sexuality. So was that part of your story? Like, do you get turned on, but just not by other people or like that is not a component at all? Yeah. So, I mean, asexual doesn't mean that I don't. So libido and sexual attraction are different things. Libido is how much your body and your monkey brain just want you to have sex, whereas sexual attraction is, you know, about that specific person that you're attracted to. Uh, so some asexual people have libidos. It's obviously, it's always different for everybody. But uh, for me, I definitely sometimes can get horny. Uh, I'm a medication that kind of suppresses that right now. So as a side effect, so I, it's not really relevant for me right now. I just don't feel a really strong desire to when I look at somebody like when I look at somebody at the mall or when I you know I'm out in public or I see a picture of somebody on Instagram I literally just never have the thought that I would want to have sex with them I might Mm. think oh I want to make out with that person or I want to kiss that person or I want to I don't know go to a museum with that person but it just just sex is never as part of it it's like a service that you do to express your affection for someone. It's like giving someone a massage, right? Like generally yeah, giving someone yeah. a massage doesn't turn you on. It doesn't like feel amazing to have like your fingers on someone's shoulders, but they feel really good. And so their response is the reward for that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And of course you can have really nice central massages where you, you know, have nice lotion and you turn the lights down. And I mean, how much of a leap is it? Like I didn't grow up viewing my body as inherently sexual or shameful or that naked people were something to be like, you know, giggled and shied away from, you know, I went to art museums and it was never about look at the naked lady in the painting. You know, it was, everyone's got a butt, everyone's got nipples. Everyone, everyone is a, is a person. It's not about, Oh, my, my breasts are scandalous and scary and will be sinful. So I have to be really careful of who's seeing them everybody's got some people got boobs like all right awesome it's not it's just another part of your body just like sex is another 
way that you can experience touch and affection and love for somebody. That's so interesting. So you, you grew up without, it sounds like without like a sense of shame around sexuality or around your body. So I wonder how many other people are maybe just asexual by nature, but it's buried under like having been taught as a child that sex is shameful, that sex is dirty, that sex is wrong. And so for them, you know, their lack of desire to have sex seems to be centered around some kind of like religious teachings or, you know, the idea that it's a bad thing. But for you, it seems like, you know, you, you're open, you were raised open to the idea, but then you've just come to find that just you yourself are not particularly interested in such a thing, but it wasn't something that was like denied or shamed to you when you were younger. Does that sound right? Yeah. I mean, we're, we're certainly not walking around naked with each other. We're not, we're not big, uh, big talkers with each other all the time. So we didn't necessarily like talk about sex, but when Mm -hmm. it comes to just like the human body and like, you know, and just accepting that people look different and people, you know, have different types of bodies and that your body is natural and normal and you shouldn't feel ashamed about it. Uh, I think just for me translated and developed into a part of my sexuality and part of my, the way that I interact with sex, I don't come at it from an angle of like, if I, this guy sees my boobs, it's like an NFT. Like this guy is the one dude who's ever going to see him. You know, like, like my body doesn't have less value based on how many people have seen it. Mm-hmm. If that were true, celebrities' bodies would be worth this. Like that, that doesn't make any sense. If 10,000 people have seen a picture of my nipples, my nipples aren't somehow less beautiful and physically there and awesome for everybody else that's looking at them. So Like, who cares? Maybe in a way way they're even more so because, you know, they're out there in the public to be revered and then enjoyed and appreciated, you know? I mean, you could say the same thing about works of art. Like, how is a work of art a work of art if no one sees it, you know? Exactly. Like, yeah, like we would have paintings and like uh, art prints of like, you know, topless women just because in the period that the the piece of art came out, that was just the style. It's not Mm -hmm. about her sexual breasts and oh my god we can't let our children see this it's just okay that's what people look like you know it's not something that you have to and like that sucks that people do feel that way and to go back to your point I kind of brushed over I'm sorry about people that are probably asexual and don't even realize it um I've read some sort of statistic seems to be about one percent of people are probably asexual on some level but what i find really really interesting is that demisexuality which is uh part of the spectrum of asexuality uh is i think more common than people think it is demisexuality to be for everybody uh is when you only form sexual attraction to somebody that you already have a pre-existing relationship with so that means like you don't ever have sexual desire or, or like sexual attraction to strangers. But if you have a really close friendship or, you know, like coworker relationship with somebody that develops over time, then those feelings of sexual attraction build. And I think oh, I and I see like comments online of people saying that that's how they feel and people being like, that's not being asexual. I feel like that. And it's yes, it is. <laughs> It's just so interesting, this spectrum of human sexuality. And that's one of the really fascinating things about doing this podcast is I get to talk to so many people, different people who have different ways of defining their sexuality. Um, So now being asexual, did that make dating hard for you? Is it hard for you now? Like how is your relationship maybe different? Yeah. I mean, so I've never had a problem dating. Uh, I feel like I have a decent enough personality to get through a couple of dates and I don't look too terrible. So frankly, dating has always been really easy. Um, A lot of, you know, I've, a lot of the times, you know, I would experience a certain just other forms of attraction to somebody and just, you know, be in relationship with them because, you know, if you don't know that how you're feeling is different from everybody else or you don't think about it, I just kind of was just going with the idea that, well, I was dating them and I liked, you know, making out with them and I liked being around them. So like we said, like sex is just part of it. 
but I I'm you know I realized later on like oh no people are experiencing this just in a different way than I am Holly Randall Unfiltered is brought to you by Adam and Eve Adam and Eve is like the biggest online sex toy retail store. And in fact, they don't just offer sex toys. They also have movies, they have lingerie. They basically have anything sexy that you could be looking for. Now they have an incredible offer. Get 50% off of any one item when you go to adamandeve.com. But that's not where it ends. So not only will you get 50% off any one item, they will also load up 10 free gifts for you on top of that. You will get six free movies, a free mystery pack that includes an item for him and a special toy for her and something we know you'll both enjoy, plus free shipping. Now that's a lot of free stuff, but you can only get this offer if you go to adamandeve.com and use my code HOLLY. That's adameve.com, use code HOLLY, for 50% off of any one item plus 10 free gifts.